you've probably been around different types of cities, but you see one thing in common. There's graffiti in a lot of places. Between all of these graffiti artists, there is one very famous one that we are all familiar with, but we don't know who he is. His name is Banksy. The life of Banksy pretty much starts to get popular in the 1990s in the city of Bristol, England. And of course, he used to go around painting graffitis all over the city. A lot of people think that he was in his youth years, maybe around 20 years old. And if that's the case, right now he's about 50 years old. But this is all guesses. Anytime Banksy drew a graffiti or did a street painting, it was always a way of sending a message. And since the message was unique and it stood out and the media gave it a lot of attention, it became very famous quickly. And that's one of the many reasons he very quickly gained a lot of fans all over England. It got to a point where most of the fans that loved Banksy were fanatics and they loved everything he did. And it was because of these fans that his street art became extremely valuable very quickly. But Banksy wouldn't perform his art on paper or a painting. He would do it on a wall. So how does that hold value? It's interesting to note they very easily sell street arts that were performed on a wall. It just has to be done by Banksy himself. The most interesting about Banksy is that after he got very famous, he didn't stay in England. He actually went all over the world, the most insane places you think. And the most insane one is that he performed street art in the Gaza Strip. Nobody really knows what this Gaza Strip painting means, but it's very famous around the world. But you have to note this painting was not recent, this was actually back in 2015. So it has nothing to do with the war going on right now. Even though they buy Banksy art everywhere, he's not really profiting off of it because he's not the one selling. Wherever Banksy performs the art, whoever owns that piece of wall is now the new owner of this very expensive art and they can sell it to someone else. You might be asking, how do they sell a piece of art that's on a brick wall or a side of the building? You might not believe it, but they literally sell you the wall. The art is so valuable that they literally cut that piece of the wall if it's made out of brick, drywall or whatever and sell you that and they make so much money off that piece that they could easily rebuild their house or building and they will still make money after. There are a lot of guesses on who Banksy is because everybody wants to know who he is. Obviously the guess is a British man that's 50 years old, but this is still a guess. Of course in social media there's a lot of arguments on who Banksy actually is. And there are people that believe Banksy is not just one person. This is a group of individuals that go all over the world to perform this art. That's why you really can't catch a person red handed. But it doesn't make sense. A group of people have to pay a lot of money to go around places. But one person could do it easily. And Banksy is not really making any money off these street arts. There are a lot of documentaries about Banksy's life. And in most of these documentaries, one person comes into mind and they kind of believe that this is Banksy. They also have a name for him, Robin Gunningham. This is a guess, but Robin was born in the city of Bristol and he's about 50 years old. A very alone man and they truly don't know where he is right now because there is no evidence on where he is. There's only one photo of him which you're seeing, but this alone could be just a guess. This building is in Liverpool and that big rat painting is done by Banksy. In the year 2010, a British man buys this building with this painting for £114,000, but he leaves it for years and just forgets about it. But 11 years later in the year 2021, he realizes that he still has this building. So he decides to sell the wall piece and rebuild this place and make it into a restaurant. You might not believe it, but this piece of wall with the rat painting done by Banksy sold for £475,000. But it's not like every Banksy painting sells for this much. This rat painting was massive and it was older, so it's much more rare. 
Since Banksy goes all over the world, pretty much a lot of people around the world know him, even third world countries that don't speak English. But let's see the most expensive painting Banksy has done, and it's called The Girl with the Balloon. The size with the frame is 101 by 78 centimeters, so it's not too big. But the cool part is that the frame came with the painting itself. Well, this frame and painting went up for auction in the Sotheby's in the year 2018, and they bought it for $1.366 million. When the winner was chosen, all of a sudden, the shredder inside the frame activated and pretty much ripped the painting in half especially the part where the girl is and the heart balloon was still there and this was another form of message after this happened a lot of people believe that it raised in value immediately because they believe this frame was built by banksy himself and some people believe that he was in the auction house when it sold because it was like a remote control that activated it Three years later, the same painting came back into the auction, but this time they bought it for $25,400,000 and the person pretty much 25 x their money in about three years. A lot of collectors are waiting for the same painting to come back to auction and they believe it's going to go way higher. But let's go see some other famous paintings done by Banksy. One of the most famous ones is this painting that was put up into a hospital during COVID-19. They put this painting in the Southampton Hospital in the middle of 2020 and they pretty much showed the hospital nurses and doctors as superheroes and the kid is playing with it instead of Batman. The Southampton Hospital sends this painting to auction and they raise 16.8 million pounds which goes to the hospital budget. In the year 2009, Banksy has a very famous painting which shows the entire British Parliament as monkeys. And the people that loved this the most were the British people themselves. We're not sure how people got their hands on this painting, but it entered the auction house in 2009 and sold for 1.5 million pounds. 10 years later in 2019, it came back to auction and this time it sold for 9.9 .9 million pounds. Banksy has a lot of street art that sells for thousands upon thousands of dollars and there are some cheaper ones. But the most interesting part is that the person that's behind it all is not really making any money selling these paintings. Maybe he's a billionaire himself and he does this for fun and he doesn't really need the money, he just enjoys messing with people. Who is Banksy? I guess we have to wait to see if his identity is exposed or maybe it will never be exposed. What do you think?